Hello there. How are you doing? Welcome back to Slam Motion. So guys, in today's video, we are going to discuss did House of Gucci cost Lady Gaga her role in Bullet Train. Are you guys excited? So let's get started. So keep up with me till the end. Comment right below this video. Subscribe if you still haven't and turn on the post notification for more videos. There was significant uproar earlier this year when the final list of the 2022 Academy Award nominees was released. Missing from the Best Picture Award category was Ridley Scott's House of Gucci and fans felt that this was an injustice. The biographical crime drama had been tit for an Oscar even before the trailer came out. Supporters of lead actress Lady Gaga were so excited when stills of the star were released from scenes in the film last September that they began to anticipate that she would end up winning a second Oscar of her career. While that did not quite materialize, she was widely lauded for her performance as Patricia Ridiani in the film. She also bagged nominations for a Golden Globe, a BAFTA, and a Critics' Choice Movie Award. It is not surprising how well Gaga performed in House of Gucci. The actress reportedly went full method acting in preparation for the part, something which took director Scott by surprise. Lady Gaga was set to star in Antoine Fuqua's Bullet Train this summer. The announcement that Lady Gaga would play Patrizia Reggiani was made exclusively by Deadline in November 2019. It was the first major acting role for the artist since she earned a Best Actress nomination for her star turn in the 2018 musical romantic drama film A Star Is Born. As the project was still in pre-production, Gaga landed another acting role. About one year after her role in House of Gucci was announced, news broke that she was also set to star alongside Brad Pitt in director David Leitch's action comedy film Bullet Train. In the early months of 2021, it started to become obvious that the scheduling plans for both movies were going to overlap in terms of timelines. Gaga was seemingly forced to make a choice, and the die fell on the side of Ridley Scott's project. First impressions would suggest that this was the right choice for her, given how well her work in the film has been received. At the same, her role in House of Gucci was much bigger than what she had in Bullet Train. Who replaced Lady Gaga in Bullet Train? The movie Bullet Train is adapted from a 2010 Japanese novel titled Mary Abiel by Katero Asaka. The English version of the book also shares a name with the upcoming film. An official synopsis of the picture reads, In Bullet Train, Brad Pitt stars as Ladybug, an unlucky assassin determined to do his job peacefully after one too many gigs gone off the rails. Fate, however, may have other plans as Ladybug's latest mission puts him on a collision course with lethal adversaries from around the globe, all with connected, yet conflicting, objectives on the world's fastest train. The plot summary reads on. The end of the line is just the beginning in this non-stop thrill ride through modern-day Japan from David Leitch, the director of Deadpool 2. Also starring in the film will be Joey King and Brian Tyree Henry, among others. Sandra Bullock is the other heavy-hitting name on the cast list portraying Ladybug's contact and handler by the name Maria Beadle. It was this role that was originally assigned to Gaga. How does Lady Gaga feel about missing out on a part in Bullet Train? The choice to go for House of Gucci does not appear to have been that difficult for Lady Gaga. David Leitch appeared to confirm this in an interview with Entertainment Weekly, explaining that the discussions with the actress were quite short-lived. It really all came down to her schedule with the Ridley film, Leitch said. There were short discussions and then, she told us that this isn't going to work because she was preparing for the Ridley movie Gucci. They shot right before us and overlapped with us, and it really didn't work. So guys this was all about today's video. Share as much as you can, that really motivates us to create more content for you guys. With this, we end our video. Hope you liked the video. 